Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh 1992 also it was another important visit to Kiev the capital of Ukraine I think this was August September 1992 after this marathon meetings and travels and visits uh, to raise the awareness of the issue of Bosnia in these five six countries that I mentioned before I was invited by a youth, a student youth, a young a student youth organization, and uh, to attend one of their conferences there. And most of them were actually studying in Kiev, or or before Kiev. This was actually part of the Soviet Union. So people from Yemen, from. Palestine, from Egypt, from Algeria, from other places, studying chemistry, medicine, pharmacy, and others. And I had a dream at that time, I, as I always have dreams, and the dream was at that time, was with this newly independent state in the Central Asian Republic, of the Central Asian Republic, uh, the dream was is to transfer our technology of knowledge to teach the local community how to start working in the social and humanitarian field and send them young graduates from different uh, Arab countries uh, to live there and to settle there in these countries. So it will be hitting three, four birds with one stone. One is transfer the technology of being able to build uh, civil society uh, sector organization, organization, this is number one. Number two, to live there and uh, uh, to have this cross culture, fertilization and knowledge and uh, values for them and for the young people to provide them with actually jobs. This was the dream at that time. So, to try to calculate how much this will cost. My intention was is to see how much the prices of every commodity in the city, like eggs, oil, uh, butter, uh, bread, uh, clothing, uh, uh, rental uh, flats and cars and uh, petrol, to try to see how much those young people, when we point a handful of them, will be able to live comfortably with this. And the calculation, actually the monthly salary would have been between $250 to $300 at the time because there was still most of the community was still sponsored by the states. So this was actually the culture of the ex-Soviet, ex-communist uh, era. And uh, so this was uh, planned, but uh, I asked one of my colleagues from who was going to provide us with those young uh, graduates uh, to sit there or to live there. Uh, Alhamdulillah that he, instead of uh, recruiting this for us in the Central Asian Republics as well as in the Benin State there, was in Albania and in other places, he decided to uh, send them to his organization in Bosnia. And here I have to say something which is extremely important. Thank God that we did not do this project because it was just an idea at the back of the mind of the CEO without any proper planning, proper budgeting, proper human resources to look after those young graduates, proper program, a proper of everything. So I was a little bit upset at the very beginning that this idea did not materialize to become a project but it failed alhamdulillah because even we did not have the budget for it so i learned a lot from the young uh, students who are studying uh, this different subject in the area telling me about the culture about the values about the economy about everything in the city and uh, and widening my eyes as much as I can to understand and comprehend uh, what's happening in the city after the Soviet Union collapsed. Two things which I need to mention to you at the same time now. Uh, first credit goes back to the first Palestinian young student in Sarajevo who taught me about uh, how minorities 
especially Muslim minorities in Bosnia were tortured. Second, eye-opening was by those people. The, third, the, the second issue was actually the issue of traveling inside uh, the post-Soviet Union uh, places. Uh, I was, I have to travel from London to Moscow, Moscow, Kiev. There was no direct flight from London to Kiev, okay? So if I want to go back, I have to go back. If I want to go and visit another city in the region, inside uh, whatever we call Soviet Union or uh, Russia at the time, called Russia at the time, I have to go from Kiev to Moscow, Moscow to Almaty. Almaty was the capital of uh, Kazakhstan. If I want to go to Tajikistan to, or to other places or to Uzbekistan or to Samarkand or Bukhara or others or to Chechnya to Grozny, I have to go from, the, from Grozny to Moscow, Moscow, uh, from Grozny to Moscow, Moscow to Grozny. Everything has to come through uh, Moscow at the time to have this kind of mentality. Lord control freak of the security and the people travel and movement, whether people or animals or birds or whatever or culture, whatever you call it. This was actually how did we live this era in, in, in the last century when we're trying to understand how those people used to live in these places in the dark ages. And uh, I thank you very much for being patient to be with me in Kiev and we still have to go to another place in different country in 1992. Assalamu alaikum wa